Hi, it's Paris from Epic Review Guys, and I've decided to lay it all out there and have my DNA mapped by a company called 23andMe. For $99, they will map out a million of your genes, and then they'll give you a listing of health conditions that you may be predisposed to, and also health conditions that you may not have to worry much about ever contracting for just $99. Would you want to know? So I decided to give this a try with 23andMe after seeing a recent television interview with the president of the company. She happens to be the wife of the co-founder of Google, so this is a group of people who really think big. They're trying to get a million people to do the testing by the end of the year, both I'm sure because it will help their company out, but also they're somehow tied into a research project where you can donate the information they've gleaned from looking at your DNA to a project where if they get enough people to put their information in, they should actually be able to improve the science of genetics and to make uh, better predictions about health outcomes and the likelihood that certain people will get an illness based on who has these different um, genes doing different things. Now I recognize the name 23andMe from, I don't know if it was a year or two years ago, they were in the news because Walgreens was going to start selling um, these DNA health predictor tests on their shelves. And I'm pretty sure as I remember it, the FDA came in and said, nope, we don't want you to do that because they can tell you if you have an increased likelihood for uh, coming down with Alzheimer's as you get older. And they don't have a way to cure Alzheimer's and they were sort of afraid people would without going through a doctor and having a counselor there possibly that you would receive these results and people would sort of freak out seeing, oh my gosh, I have such and such a percent of coming down with an illness that there's nothing you can do about it. So if you're thinking of trying out this, having your DNA mapped, you go directly through the 23andMe company. Uh, they have it all set up on their website to make it easy to register. They send you a kit including a cup that apparently you have to spit into multiple times and get it to some level and then you uh, send that back to them, that's where they get your DNA sample from, and then the results will also appear on their website. So you're basically going directly through them. If, if you want to find out more, I'll put a link down below in the description box. You can check it out and see what you think. But let me show you what's involved in step one, which is registering what information they need and talking briefly about some of the privacy concerns that people have about doing this sort of testing and who may get their hands on the results. So their website says it is very easy. Give them some information, give them a little money. They send you the kit, you follow the steps on that, send it back and you get your results. Now I've spent a couple hours researching the privacy aspects of this, reading other people's concerns, their thoughts on the matter, going through the 23andMe website, trying to find out where they specifically explain what they're going to do with your data and how much control you retain over it. So this is just my understanding based on that research. If you're really worried about it, go read it all yourself and see how you understand it. But it seems to me that, that you're always going to have access to the map that they made of your DNA, irregardless of what happens in the future. However, the data that they glean from that and that map itself may be anonymized, just like what Google does with uh, your search information. They see how many people are searching for this particular term and they can put it in a trending form. They can use it for selling advertisements based on how many people in this age group are searching for this thing in this month. Kind of, as I understand it, it's kind of the same way here. They can take the information you provide them, which is your DNA sample, and then if you go into the part of the program where they uh, have you fill out surveys about health conditions or different things, your lifestyle and so forth, they take all that information and anonymize it, but they can extract other useful information from that. And it does specifically say, I was able to find in one spot on their website, that if they make some amazing discovery based on something they learn from information gleaned from you, that they can reuse that information to develop a blockbuster anti-cancer drug or some kind of a treatment or work with a drug company and you don't get any of it. You basically were a participant in giving over the information both to get the look at your map and to learn what you could from the science as it is today and to just be a overall nice guy about it but you're not going to get any money out of it even if they find a way to take information that they learned from what you gave them and make money off of that. They do also say that if there's some judicial or governmental decree that basically 
a police warrant or something that you know you're suspected in a crime they may be required to turn over everything they know about you your name your address information about your DNA sample and so forth. So is there a risk in being one of the first folks to jump into this new field of genetic testing and genetic prediction and genetic mapping and everything that's going to come from it? Yes, there, there is, but I think this is the way the world is going. The way the high tech industry is uh, advancing and leap and bounds right now and becoming such a part of our lives, I think this technology is the next to do that. Also being new, there's still a lot of legal things to be worked out in regards to this. So it's, it's the wild west of genetics, but it has such great potential. By getting millions of people's information together, they can see patterns they've never been able to see before. They, I'm, I am certain that whether it's this company or another, but somebody's going to put together enough data that they will be curing and treating previously untreatable diseases based on the information that they're going to be able to put together with this. So I'm going to sign up. I'm going to sign up as well for the research project which gives them permission to use my data in other ways and to send me the surveys and if uh, the information I can give them will help someone else out, I'll be more than pleased. They do start out by telling you that even though they'll send you your, your spit cup right away, um, and you send it right back to them that it still takes several weeks for the DNA testing to be done, irregardless of what you see on CSI Las Vegas. I was a little surprised to see that you do have to pay for the shipping. The other uh, DNA test I've done, that was included in the cost, but I understand that this test uh, up until like a year ago was $299, and that they're actually doing it at a loss in order to get that million customer database that they're aiming for. So anyway, it's about 10 bucks for the uh, regular shipping, or if you really want it quick, you can spend extra. After that came the putting your credit card information, and then once the order's complete, they're already starting with the data collection. Well, that's done. I've begun my journey down the rabbit hole. In about a week, I should be receiving the kit. I'll do my next video with that, showing what you get in the kit, what they need you to fill out, and how to fill up a cup with spit. If I've piqued your interest in this, again, I have a link down below. It will take you right to their site. See what you think. If you um, want to follow along when I put up additional videos uh, on this and other subjects, there will be a picture coming up soon, uh, a little caricature here. Click on that to subscribe to our channel. And when I do have the next video up in this series about what happened when the kit came and how to do that, I'll put the link to that right here. Hey.